Olivia Munson is a young 13-year-old, young Filipina woman who's trying to find her way in the world. Her parents are doctors. They're not your regular doctors, they work in a cadaver lab. So it's like really gross and icky. She has to work at the cadaver lab for the summer. Which as you can imagine for a pubescent teenager is not the coolest of things. And she is so embarrassed about everything in her life. I can't tell those people that I don't want to be a doctor. Mary Wynn and our director Graham, our old college friends, they had this idea to adapt her novel into a musical. When she was writing this book, she thought that she would write it about a Filipino girl. I'm part of a theater company with a lot of Filipino people, and, and so in a way, it, it wound up becoming a love letter to all of these friends of mine. The story is really about uh, coming of age learning how to love who you are, where you come from, who your parents are, who your grandparents are. One of the most exciting things about this production is that we have a lot of Filipinos in the room. So that's not just on stage, so representation on stage. It also means representation behind the scenes. And that's something that I personally have never really been a part of. I am the first Filipina to win a Helen Hayes Award for Outstanding Lead Performance in a Play. In this play, we have two other Helen Hayes Award nominees. One, two, three, four. is so, so good. Justin's music is so cool. Mary Wynn wrote this book centering this, this Filipino-American family. The references to the culture are, are a little covert, and it was really fun to jump on board because I'm just like, great, I'm going to pull all this stuff out and make it way explicit. There's so many like Filipino jokes that I think the Filipino community will absolutely love. I just love how much Regina and Justine are putting in where it's like, oh, my Tita does that, or oh, my Lola does that. So we talk about things like making mano, or um, how we show respect to our elders. There have been multiple moments I'm watching and I'm in tears. With the efforts of all of us, we are managing to tell a really beautiful intergenerational story. Yeah, I'm gonna do all that. I love it. <laughs> I think that this is the first Filipino-centered story at the Kennedy Center. So many productions and concerts of high caliber happen at the Kennedy Center, where all of the major Broadway productions tour through here, where the National Symphony Orchestra is here, the Washington Opera is here. When I was told that we're gonna propose our show to the Kennedy Center, I thought, that's cute. Like, that's never gonna happen. When I heard that they said yes, my mind was completely blown. To have a story being told by Filipinos on stage at the Kennedy Center, I think is a wonderful thing for our community. I really hope that the audiences of this area and the students and, and the Filipino population and everybody really in Washington, D.C. comes to the Kennedy Center, our temple for national arts, to see this Filipino story told lovingly and with so much joy. For me to be playing a Filipino on stage, I hope people will come see the show and feel inspired that they see someone who looks like them and say, oh, I can do that. Thank you.